when I was thinking about stereotypes, there's they're the ones that come sort of within the musical community. And and in that case, like the stuff I mentioned, it's just up to me, I guess, to to do what I do and and to play in a way that has integrity and um maybe there's always a way to to check back in and say okay even though i'm just writing these people off as being not not very nice and really closed minded and maybe you know fearful that i'm that we're going to criticize the way they play bach or something um that you know am i challenging myself technically to or or make sure i my programming is as daring and and pushing things out of the box as much as it can since it's like i'm given sort of a narrow amount of I, uh, you know, some hundreds of years to the, uh, the, the span of, of the music that we're playing. Um, and maybe that's, that's a good challenge to undertake. But uh, when you talked about, or when we were thinking about stereotypes, I also, they're the ones that exist, exist outside of the musical community that are more like people who feel alienated by what we do. And um, especially like classical, mm. classical music mm. and, and that sort of rigidity if if there's something that's really repelling people or making them feel not included, then those are the types of stereotypes to actually really really listen to and and say like, well, if if the if it's about like, oh, there's no diversity in the audience, well, then uh, that's something that like we really need to take a hard look at. Why is that? Yeah. Or if it's like too stuffy of an atmosphere, then in that case yeah like go go on stage and say something disarming to the audience or allow clapping just don't really care when people clap or wear mm. more casual clothing if, if if it seems too rigid so stereotypes you know they're the ones that are not really worth li listening to but they're also the ones where maybe if we meet people where where they are it, it can it can help grow the amount of people that are receptive to what it is we're trying to do and what, what actually really speaks to us might end up really moving them.